Good morning, Kevin Marr. Good morning, Sheila Forka. Good morning, Anthony Thomas. We have to figure out Gondor, you have to ask Amy to get your breakfast the night before and get the kitty cat's breakfast the night before. Because the she's a very, very loving kitty cat. You never saw a kitty cat love a person more than she loves people. She's a very, very nice kitty cat. And so she wastes in the morning until I get up at five and she doesn't come over during the night. But the minute Glenny gets up at five and the minute the alarm sounds, she comes over to the bed and then she starts her Please give me breakfast. Please give me breakfast. And so much that I can hardly walk from the bed to the uh, uh, kitchen to the uh, bathroom because she's pushing all the time in love for her breakfast. Okay, so remind Glenny to do that, okay? Get the breakfasts the night before and have them all ready in the fridge. Uh, what are we going to do about Pittsfield, Kevin Marr? Madeline has come up with a solution. She has a friend who lives in Pittsfield, and she will ask her friend if she will go over to the TV station and sign the papers and do the wraparound. No, Madeline can make the wraparound. Madeline can make the wraparound and give it to the TV station. I'll ask you this morning, wraparound, Madeline, to see if you can do that. I'll be willing to pay her. Yeah, I would be willing to pay her. I would be happy to pay her. Who? Whom? Madeline? No, her friend. Okay, now if that doesn't work, I'll go back and I'll ask uh, Sherry Pelletier, who owns the vegan diner, if she, she will consider it again and do it again. And I'll ask Patrick, uh, formerly, if, and Marie, if they will do it. I'll ask them again. Otherwise, any other people in Pittsfield. Wayne knows quite a few people. I don't know why Wayne won't do it. It's a mystery. For all these years, you know, five or six years, he will not do the lap around and he will not do, uh, make out the papers. You got any jokes, Gondor? Oh, you got to think of a joke. He said, she said, I wouldn't marry you if you were the last man on earth. And he says, that's right, honey, you'd get crushed in the rush. And she said, well, when I was in college, I had plenty of men at my feet. And he said, they were all podiatrists. And she said, and then he said, I had the women running in circles when I was in college. And she says, yes, you were the track coach. A woman said, I expect my husband to be 20 years from now exactly what he is today. And her friend says, well, that's ridiculous. Well, that's what he is today. A woman told the bank teller that she wanted to open in a 
a, uh, a deposit account for her husband and a withdrawal account for her. You can always count on your undertaker. He's the last person in the world to let you down. So now, what is the other project that's going on so heavily? Oh, very good, Amy. You put these on backwards. Very, very good. Ah. Uh, We bought, we had about 20 uh, Magnavox SD, no, DVD, VHS combo players. Remember those? We got them in 2007. We, they did such wonderful work. They worked so hard. And then we made the archives on them. Well, uh, we gave all of the DVD VHS combos away. We gave them all to Gregory Washburn. And then we found out, and then we bought a new Sony DVD player. And then if we found out that this new Sony DVD player would not play some of the archives, going back to 2007, the DVD archives. Ooh, we can't leave this world with that. <clears throat> so, on Marketplace, we bought a used DVD uh, SD player. <clears throat> and the project now is to go way back to the shows that were made <clears throat> in 2007-2008 today and see if they will play on the used DVD player. Hmm. And our dear April is going to do that today. Determine whether they're going to play, if the DVDs are going to play on the Magnavox. That's two projects. And the third project is the owner. Uh, the owner wants Glendora to have 24-7. Well, Glendora is going to say no because Glendora has this 24-7. Medical alert. And Wayne puts it very, very well. I should ask him to say it to you. That Glendora doesn't turn on uh, a very strong light of 200 watts to video anymore. She videos by the uh, ring light and by the natural sunlight. Uh, Glendora is never going to drop another cloth in the toilet and cause the toilet to overflow because Every time Glendor uh, examines the toilet before the flush and makes sure that there's no cough in there. So that's never going to happen again. Uh, the uh, automatic cleaning of the oven, Glendor is never going to do that again unless the owner wants to have her people come and do it because that was all messed up by her son and she was out of town at the same time and she has the wrong information 
And so that's a story to tell. Gondor doesn't go near the kitchen. Gondor doesn't do any cooking. She doesn't touch the stove or the refrigerator or anything. So, and Gondor is totally capable otherwise taking care of herself. Then the next factor on that is that we have our dear April 9 to 1, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and our dear Amy uh, 1 to 7 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It's only supposed to be four. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't know how that comes out. Anyway, there's 30 hours missing when somebody is here. And we don't have the money to pay for that. You know what that would cost a week? Uh, seven hours times 14 for Amy and four hours four times a week for April and it's way way up there a couple of hundred three four hundred a week Glennie doesn't have that And in order to procure same, we would have to have another 30 hours from the insurance agency, from Consumer Direct, and from Dr. Katz, and from Medicaid. So it's just not going to work out. What about the two lawsuits in the Supreme Court of the United States because they are violations of civil rights? Did you know that if you have a violation of civil rights, you can take it directly to the Supreme Court of the United States? You don't have to go to the District Court in Albany. I'm talking about the United States District Court. And win or lose is going to cost the defendants, in one case Pittsfield, in one case the owner, it's going to cost them like something like $40,000 to defend it. Because they, have, they will want to go through lawyers. Glendora will not. Glendora will go pro se. Are we up to date? I think so. Perfect in power, love in purity. That's what we want to be. Are we getting closer, folks? Perfect in power, love and purity. Breathe on us, breath of God, till we are wholly thine, until this earthly part of us glows with thy spirit divine until this earthly part of us glows with thy spirit divine. Be therefore perfect, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5, last verse. The Beatitudes. Blessed are the pure in heart, for this you see God. And it's so easy not to think about bad things. Just, you know, just say, 
God is everything there is. God is love. Love is everything there is. That's the only thing you pay attention to. It's love. No selfishness, no ego, no me first. And what day is it, Glendora? It is the 11th of July, and it is Monday. And I've got to get to you. Call the Christian Science Church in Boston, will you? And tell them you would like the telephone number for setting the watch. And then you dial it on the phone. Here, I can dial it for you, I think. Hold it. Area. We encourage you to contact us. Place your comments, questions, or donations at csarizona.com. I can't let you hear the rest of because it's copyrighted. This one's very, very good. Again, they've been six in a row. Excellent. Some of them are rather feeble, but not for a long time. 